With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, a small ball of mass m is thrown upward with velocity u from the ground. The ball experiences a resistive force mk v square where v is its speed. We have to calculate the maximum height that is attained by the ball. So let's just suppose that here is our ground. A ball is thrown initially upwards with an initial speed of u. So the ball here has an initial speed of u. After a certain point, let's just say the ball reaches here and it has a velocity v upwards. So if we see that the net force that is acting on this ball is first it is the weight of this ball and second it is the resistive force that is acting downwards which is mk v square. It depends on the velocity at that particular instant. So let's take our conventions here. We have taken the upward conventions to be positive. That means our initial velocity was directing upwards. So this is our positive direction. The downward direction is negative. All right. Now let's find out what is the total force that is acting on the ball here. Total force is mg plus mkv this is the net force so we can compare it with mass into acceleration this is equal to mg plus mkv now since this force is acting downwards so we have to apply a negative sign here now removing mass from the equation we get minus a is equal to g plus pardon this is mkv square so this is g plus kv square. Now we know that acceleration we can write it as rate of change of the velocity it is dv divided by dt. Now multiplying and dividing by dx we get dv divided by dx into dx divided by dt. So this we know this is velocity v dv over dx. So we get an expression for acceleration here so let's put this expression here we get minus v dv over dx is equal to g plus k v square now this is an expression in velocity so let's just take it here in the denominator so we get minus v divided by g plus k v square taking d, dx here we get this is equal to dx and this is dv now let's just integrate on both the sides so let's put the limits here initially when the displacement is zero the velocity was u after it reaches a certain height h max let's just call it capital h the velocity would be zero all right now this expression is a little bit trickier so let's take it g plus kv square to be equal to t this is k all right now let's just differentiate this whole equation with respect to time now g is the acceleration due to gravity so the differentiation would be 0 plus k is a constant k for velocity we have to apply chain rule here v square so this differentiation would be 2v dv over dt this is equal to 1 so here what we get 
we get two or I would say VDV. The value of VDV is DT divided by 2K. Let's put this value and this value here we get integration minus let's just take minus sign outside VDV is DT divided by 2K DT divided by 2K and G plus KV is where this is T so this into T this is equal to DX the integration of DX is X let's just put the limits here the lower limit was 0 and the upper limit is maximum height which is denoted with capital H here the let's just change the units so when the velocity was u initially what is the value of t so t would be g plus k u square and the upper limit is zero that means when the velocity is zero what is the t here t would be if we put velocity equal to zero so this becomes zero so the lower limit is g plus k u square and the upper limit is 0. Let's integrate. 2k is a constant. So let's take it outside the integral. So the, the integration of 1 upon t is log t. Alright. Plus c when this is indefinite. But here it is definite integration. Therefore, this integration comes out to be ln t. The lower limit is g plus k u square, upper limit is 0. This comes out to be, now let's put limits here, this is h minus 0. So minus 1 upon 2k, now let's put the limits here. Pardon, the upper limit was g. This is g the upper limit here is g when the velocity becomes 0 t becomes g so this becomes ln g minus ln g plus ku square this becomes equal to maximum height capital H now we know that log m minus log n this becomes log m divided by n so let's apply this formula here so this becomes minus 1 by 2k natural log g divided by g plus k u square this is equal to capital H now let's take minus sign into the power of log because we know minus ln m is equal to ln 1 upon m so let's reciprocate these terms we get 1 upon 2k ln g plus k u square divided by g this is equal to capital H this is our maximum height we can simplify it 1 upon 2k ln dividing by the acceleration due to gravity in numerator and denominator we get 1 plus k u square divided by g now this is our final answer now let's match it with the options here 1 upon 2k ln 1 plus k u square by g so 1 upon 2k ln 1 plus k u square by g our option 2 is correct for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.